Hello and welcome to ELL, the channel that will educate and motivate you on your fitness journey. Have you ever wondered why you or your partner might be experiencing a low libido? This is a question that's crossed the minds of many, and it's absolutely okay. Understanding the underlying causes of this common concern can be an essential step towards finding a solution. It's not just about your sex life but overall well-being too. So let's delve into this topic and shed some light on it. Today we're going to explore the top 10 causes of low libido in both men and women. The first cause we will discuss is hormonal imbalance. It's like the conductor of your body's orchestra, setting the tempo for various functions. When the conductor's rhythm is off, it can lead to a symphony of health issues, including reduced sexual desire. In men, low testosterone levels could be the culprit. Testosterone is the key player in male sexual drive. When levels dip, so can interest in sexual activity. It's a similar story for women, where low levels of estrogen can cause a drop in libido. Estrogen is vital for maintaining female sexual health and desire. These imbalances can occur naturally with age or due to other health conditions. But the good news is, they're often treatable. Medical professionals can offer solutions to help rebalance these essential hormones. So, a hormonal imbalance could be a potential reason for your low libido. But don't worry, we've got nine more causes to explore. Let's dive in. Moving on to our second cause, stress and anxiety. These twin foes of mental health can be stealthy saboteurs of your libido. When we're under chronic stress or dealing with ongoing anxiety, our bodies respond by releasing a wave of stress hormones. This hormonal tsunami can disrupt the delicate balance of hormones in our bodies that are crucial for maintaining a healthy libido. Moreover, the physical toll of constant worry and tension can lead to fatigue, another libido killer. It's like a domino effect as stress leads to fatigue which in turn can further dampen your sexual desire. Remember this isn't about the occasional stressful day or fleeting moments of anxiety. We're talking about chronic long-term stress and anxiety that persist over time. Such persistent mental strain can have a significant impact on your sexual health. If you're feeling stressed out or anxious, your libido might be taking a hit as a result. Our third cause is quite common, lack of sleep. When our bodies don't get enough rest, it's like running a car low on fuel. It still works, but not as efficiently. You might notice that you're more irritable, have less energy, and yes, your libido can take a hit too. Sleep is the time when our bodies repair and rejuvenate. Without enough of it, stress hormones like cortisol can run rampant, dampening desire. On top of that, sleep deprivation can lead to mood swings, making the idea of intimacy less appealing. Another thing to consider is that when you're tired, your body conserves energy for essential functions. And let's face it, sex, while enjoyable, isn't considered essential by your body's standards. So, next time you pull an all-nighter or skimp on sleep for a few nights in a row, remember that it's not just your alertness and mood that can suffer, but your libido too. If you're not getting enough sleep, it might be affecting your libido more than you think. Coming to our fourth cause, medication side effects. It might surprise you but the medication you're taking could be putting a damper on your desire. Certain medications, particularly antidepressants and birth control pills are notorious for this. Antidepressants, for instance, can often lead to a decrease in libido. This is because they can alter the balance of chemicals in your brain, which can dampen your sex drive. Similarly, birth control pills which work by manipulating hormone levels can also impact your libido. They can lower the level of testosterone in your body, a hormone that plays a key role in sexual desire for both men and women. But remember, not everyone experiences these side effects and there are many different types of both antidepressants and birth control pills. If you're concerned about your medication affecting your libido, it's always a good idea to discuss side effects with your doctor. They can help you weigh the benefits and risks, and possibly adjust your medication if needed. Halfway through our list, the fifth cause is aging. Now, you might be wondering how does aging affect libido? Well, it's quite simple. As we grow older, our bodies naturally begin to slow down. The levels of sex hormones like estrogen in women and testosterone in men start to decline, which can lead to a decreased interest in sexual activities. Moreover, physical health can also take a toll on your libido. Age-related health issues like arthritis, diabetes, high blood pressure, and heart disease can make sex less enjoyable or even painful. And let's not forget about menopause and andropause. These life stages bring about significant hormonal changes that can lower libido. Finally, aging can also lead to psychological changes. As we age, our self-perception and body image can change and these shifts can impact our sexual desires. Aging is a natural process and it can sometimes affect our libido. 
The sixth cause on our list is underlying medical conditions. Now this is a broad category so let's narrow it down a bit. Certain conditions like diabetes or high blood pressure can have a significant impact on your sexual desire. Diabetes for instance, can cause nerve damage that affects sensation, while high blood pressure might limit blood flow, both of which could lead to a decreased libido. Other conditions that might affect sex drive include heart disease, cancer, arthritis, and neurological diseases. These conditions can cause physical discomfort or fatigue making sexual activity less appealing. Hormonal disorders such as thyroid problems or low testosterone can also play a role. It's not just physical conditions either. Mental health issues like anxiety or depression can also lead to a drop in libido. The key takeaway here? If you're dealing with a medical condition, it could be playing a role in your sexual health. If you have an underlying medical condition, it's possible that it could be affecting your libido. The seventh cause we're discussing today is alcohol and drug use. Now while a glass of wine or a cold beer can sometimes act as a social lubricant, excessive consumption of alcohol and regular drug use can create quite the opposite effect. Over time, these substances can decrease your libido, and here's why. Alcohol and drugs can affect your body's ability to respond to sexual stimuli, dulling your senses, and making arousal more challenging. They can also lead to hormonal imbalances, which we've learned, play a crucial role in regulating your libido. Not to mention, ongoing substance abuse can lead to chronic health problems, like liver disease and cardiovascular issues, which can further decrease sexual desire. Remember, moderation is key. Enjoying a drink occasionally doesn't necessarily mean you'll experience a drop in libido, but if you're consuming a lot of alcohol or using drugs, it could be negatively affecting your libido. Moving to the eighth cause, depression. Depression is more than just feeling down or having a bad day, it's a serious mental health condition that affects how we think, feel, and act. Now you may wonder, how does depression tie in with a decreased libido? Let's break it down. Depression often leads to a loss of interest in activities you once enjoyed, and this can include sex. The intricate link between our emotional well-being and our sexual desires is undeniable. When you're depressed, your body may respond by shutting down non-essential functions, including sexual desire. It's your body's way of conserving energy to combat the emotional turmoil you're experiencing. Additionally, many depression medications can also decrease libido as a side effect, further intensifying the problem. It's a complex issue that requires professional help to navigate. Depression is a serious condition that can significantly lower your libido. The ninth cause is perhaps one of the most complex, relationship issues. Just like any emotional experience, sexual desire is not immune to the effects of personal relationships. When relationships are strained, whether due to lack of communication, unresolved conflict or even infidelity, it's only natural that sexual desire can be impacted. Consider this. When there's a lack of open and effective communication, misunderstandings can occur, leading to feelings of resentment or dissatisfaction. These negative emotions can create a barrier that prevents the expression of sexual desire. Similarly, unresolved conflict can breed feelings of anxiety and stress, which, as we've discussed before, can directly influence libido. The dynamics of a relationship can also play a big role. Power imbalances, trust issues, or a lack of emotional intimacy can all contribute to a waning sexual desire. It's important to understand that a healthy sexual relationship is built on mutual respect, trust, and open communication. If you're experiencing relationship issues, it's possible that they could be affecting your libido. Finally, the tenth cause we're discussing today is poor body image. When we feel insecure about our bodies, it can lead to decreased sexual desire. It's like a mirror reflecting our self-esteem. If we don't like what we see, it can be hard to feel attractive or desired. This lack of confidence can create a barrier, blocking us from experiencing intimacy. If you're struggling with body image issues, know that it's okay and it's possible that it's affecting your libido. So there you have it, the top 10 causes of low libido. From hormonal imbalances to stress, lack of sleep, medication side effects, aging, underlying medical conditions, alcohol and drug use, depression, relationship issues, and poor body image. Each plays a significant role in our sexual health. Understanding these factors is the first step towards better wellness. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more informative videos. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update.